Good afternoon. I'm Ashley Rose Costello, Doctor of Physical Therapy with San Francisco Sport and Spine Physical Therapy. Uh, JJ asked me to talk to you about the benefits of a standing desk. Often we are t we're told that standing is better than sitting, but we can often just be as um, uh, unsupported in standing as we are in sitting, which is not really the benefit of why we're doing this. So some of the points that I like to tell my patients is um, you don't need something fancy. You can even have something just simple as this. Uh, if you have a laptop, one of the benefits of getting a laptop stand to bolster your screen higher so that your eye level is just uh, below the screen is beneficial. Uh, also just getting a simple uh, mouse that is um, uh, wireless is also good so that you're not using a trackpad all the time. Um, you can use this both with traveling too, so for my clients and patients who are on um, airplanes or at uh, hotels, uh, this is a great easy way to try to make modifications. Uh, one of the things when you're standing that a lot, I find a lot of patients do is sit into the front of their hips because it's an easy way to sit. One thing I like to tell them is to line up their seams. So the seam of your shirt, the seam of your pants should actually line up. So many people like to bring their hips forward so that the front of their pants seam is farther forward than their shirt seam. The other thing is that'll help you bring your body weight over your shoelaces. You don't want to be on your toes or your heels. You want to be right in the center. Uh, this way you can then try to get your glutes to fire more because the main purpose of standing is to get your glutes activated so that you're not sitting them all day, which actually inactivates them. It's a little thing called sitting is the new smoking, and it's called sleepy glute syndrome, as we like to uh, phrase around here. Uh, other things you can do while you're standing, it's beneficial, is just trying to stand on one leg, but really keeping that glute working. Don't sit into your hip, because that defeats the purpose. Really try to pull up, and keep the core on, and the body weight forward. We often find ourselves coming forward to look at the screen. That often actually can be from your eyes, so I've recommended a lot of patients get their vision checked by their optometrist or ophthalmologist to make sure that they're not squinting to get to the um, front of the screen too much. Uh, finally, to try to open up your chest, an easy way that we can do that is just using a corner. So coming to a corner, bringing one foot farther forward, we're able to then just stretch out the front of our pecs, which can often get tight from working at a computer desk all day and stretching out the side of our neck slightly can also help open up a lot of the neck muscles that are tight. By doing this with keeping your foot forward, you're not trying to hold your body weight up, you're just trying to open up your chest. All right, hopefully these tips work and help you if you are transferred to a standing desk or trying to get more standing in your daily life, but doing it effectively and efficiently. Thank you.